hey guys, how are you? Hope you had a good weekend. Let's get right into it. So this is a layout I created on Trader Workstation. And um, yeah, so I moved over my time and sales here to, and added them to the groups that I had. So when I use Trader Workstation, I, I essentially have two groups in my windows. So I have group one, which is essentially this chart, this chart down at the bottom. I use them for the same instrument on different time frames. Um, this time in sales, this level two, all that's all group one. Got it? Group two would be this chart in the top right, this time in sales, this a uh, price ladder here on the bottom right, which is just basically going to, sh it's another level two, basically for that chart on the right. Um, and that is pretty much that. So the only window I need to change groups here is the watch list. So for example, let's say I've got my options in my watch list and I want to select my options. I can switch this over to the other group. And in that case, whatever I click on here is going to be sent over to the right side. So the only window I need to change groups ever will be the watch list. That's the only thing. All right. My options chain is set to obviously group the group that's with on this chart right here. Okay, that's it. So I alt tab into the options chain. All right, so originally I had a chart that looked something like this. So I had my time and sales and level two on another monitor completely. So I made this, the decision that I wanted to bring over those things. See, that's what I had originally on the other monitor. Time and sales level two. I decided I wanted to bring it over onto one layout and be ergonomic like this where I can see all the data I need and not see too much data. Which And also, as you can see, I don't have barely any indicators on my charts. All I use is a couple of moving averages. Sometimes I use the 4 EMA and the 8 EMA as well. This is the 12 and 26. I use volume and I look at option implied volatility. That's pretty much all I need to see in general. So I got everything I need to see right here on my main monitor right here. So level twos, time and sales, and two charts and chart for the option. That's all you need, done. Okay, on my big monitor up here, we're going to switch over here in a second. I'm going to be displaying eight separate charts for tickers that I'm watching in the daytime. And I'm sure you've all seen this type of stuff before. So let's switch that over and we'll get started here. Hi guys, so this is what my top monitor looks like currently. As you can see, I have trading view. Now I want your honest opinion here. And I'm sort of starting to lean towards one direction than the other, but I want your opinion as well as to which charts do you like better? Here we go. Now, it's not just about aesthetics, and we'll get into that. It's also about um, configurability, and uh, yeah, so check this out. Do you like these charts better, or do you like these charts better? Not quite far off, are they? So they're not exactly set to the same tickers or anything right now. These are mainly set to a few different stocks. Let's see, are they set to the same thing? You tell me in the comments below, which ones do you like better? now? I'll tell you briefly, I'm leaning more towards trading view because of the simple awesomeness factor. You can draw your horizontal lines, lock them into price zones much easier. Number two, by pressing the alt on the key and clicking on the chart, I can full screen the chart at any moment. So if I'm looking at the five minute or even two minute time frame on anything, say Apple, working at two minute time frame here, I can easily click on that chart and go right to it. That right there is game changing. That's amazing. All right. So we're, we're in right there. So with interactive brokers, I mean, yeah, the charts look good, but number one, I can't change the time frames all at the same time. I can't get them to scroll to the same time all at the same time. Okay. That's not as useful, but still, I can't lock in horizontal lines like I would on Trader on uh, TradingView, and I cannot full. Actually, I can full screen the chart. Okay, that that you can do. You can full screen the chart, so that's pretty convenient. So I guess in in that sense, the only useful thing would probably be drawing the horizontal lines. I don't know. You guys tell me in below. Okay. We're going on a bit much here. Okay. So let's take a look at my third monitor now, which again is going to be used for trading view. All right, guys. So here we are. That's what I have on my third screen next to me, which used to be time and sales and level two. I decided I wanted to display broad market information because I think that that is more useful 
right now. So again, let's just do a recap. In front of me, I have my main trading screen with Trader Workstation where I have the majority, the bulk of the data I need. If I only had this, I think that I would be able to do pretty well as long as I'm focusing on just like one or two markets at the same time. You know, the only reason, the only benefit these other screens are giving me is that I'm able to see more markets from the sidelines, that's it. So if I'm scanning for, for potential opportunity, I need to be able to see what the broad market is doing. So that's why I have this right here, just to gauge the market direction. So if I'm trading US equities, I want to keep an eye on what the SPY is doing. And if I'm looking at what the SPY is doing, I wanna know what its components are doing, which are the financial sector and the tech sector. So gauging those two at the same time, makes sense while watching the spy okay there's also the healthcare sector i could probably add into this so i might consider adding in that that in because that is the third largest holding in the spy keep in mind and uh, with the upcoming election there is sure to be more volatility in the healthcare and biotech sectors so i think i'm going to add those in eventually okay so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and like that button i mean click the like button <laughs> Bye, 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 bye.